Let's head back out to Anna and Pat at our Red Cross Disaster Relief Telethon. Hey, guys. Hope disaster relief. It's never too late to help, especially in these situations. As you know, a lot of towns still reeling from hurricanes, wildfires. Uh, I know firsthand that my brother in Puerto Rico still has no power. Uh, my parents got it back on Friday, and that's after two months of Hurricane Maria hitting the island and the Caribbean. Uh, we are here with Joy Squire from the Red Cross. They have said uh, they have lent a helping hand, Pat, from the beginning. Of, of everything since August. Can you believe how it, how many disasters in such a short time? It is un, uh, unbelievable. I mean, this ha have you ever experienced anything like like you have in the last couple of months? No, this year's really been unprecedented yeah. in terms of number of disasters. I mean, it's been we're in eight states. We've been all over. We have volunteers everywhere. Sixteen thousand volunteers, I think, went out on behalf of the Red Cross, and many, many are still out there. So it's been an unprecedented year. One point three million people have stayed over. Night. Yeah, that's more than we had in the last five years combined. And where so, do they stay? In different shelters you guys established? It's all different. It can mm -hmm. be staff shelters. It can be dormitories. I think Selena said she was in a dormitory mm -hmm. in Puerto Rico. It can be hotels if it works out and we can get that, but it's all over, really. Joy, I think I saw a, a van from the Red Cross feeding people in Puerto Rico when I was there. What kind of help do you give people in these situations? Well, we really have to prepare for disasters, and that's why disaster relief is so important. So we have to get our what we call emergency response vehicles out there. Now, Puerto Rico was a challenge because we can't drive them down to Puerto Rico, so we had to rent trucks and vans and use all different sorts of vehicles to just get it out there, you know, given that it's an island. You know, we hear the most about the Red Cross when we have these major disasters, but what are, what are some ways that just a, a regular citizen could, could use the Red Cross throughout the year or may need the Red Cross throughout the year? Well, we respond nationally to 64,000 disasters each year, most of which are home fires. So over this past weekend, we had many of our volunteers out in the middle of the night going to help people with home fires. Like when you think about it, what do you do after the fire department leave? You know, you need somebody to help you figure out next steps, medications, where can you go, what do you, can you wear, all of that, and that's what the Red Cross does. So we want you to help the Red Cross today. Call 312-448-2020 or go to WGNTV.com slash Red Cross. Thank you, Joy. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching WGN Morning News. We will be right back.